Ever wanted to put your computer to sleep automatically or to shut down after a given time? In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do exactly that, how to automate the process of your computer going to sleep. So this is going to be a straightforward, no-nonsense tutorial. I'm your host, Leo, and let's get started. So first thing you want to do is open up Notepad and type exactly what I have written on the screen right now run dll32.exe, that's the Windows module you need, and power profile, or power prof, as it's written here, .dll, and then you need to give a comma and type set suspend state, space, whatever state you want your computer to go to, in this case I want it to go into standby, you can also type something for shutdown, or you can even reboot your computer, all sorts of things. So you just need to type in the suspend state here. If you want it to sleep, which is what this tutorial is for, you can type exactly what's on the screen, that is standby. Now once you're done, what you want to do is save this file, and you want to save it as a bat file. By default, it's going to save as a text file, that is txt, but that's no good. So what you want to do is type in sleep.bat, and then you want to go ahead and save it. I already have it saved, so that's step number one. Now once you have it saved, you can navigate to the directory where you saved it. I saved it in C drive, but you can save it anywhere you want. It's not like you have to save it in a particular location. So now you'll notice that uh, there's this batch file in that directory. If you go ahead and double click it, it is going to run and it is going to send your computer to whatever standby or whatever state you mentioned in the text document. We've mentioned standby, so it's going to send our computer into standby, which basically means sleep. Or if you mention shutdown, it's going to shut down the computer. So you can shut it down by double clicking on this, but that's no good, right? We want it to be automatic. So now we're going to go to part two. So for the second part of this tutorial, you will need to open Task Scheduler, which is a Microsoft management tool. You can find that just by going into Start and typing it over there or you can do Windows S and type schedule tasks and you should see this tool over here. Go ahead and open it. Now once you open it, you'll be greeted with this interface. It may look complicated at first, but don't get bogged down. It's actually pretty simple. So here it's showing us um, the active tasks that we have. These are all the things that are already defined but we want to create a new task. On the right hand side we have the actions panel and what you want to do is create a task. So now it opens up this simple window where you can set different parameters. First of all you want to name your task. So in this case we're using this task to set our computer to sleep at a particular time. Let's say you want it to sleep at night. Let's say you don't want your computer to be turned off. You don't want to turn it off yourself, but you want it to automatically turn off after a certain time because if nobody's using it, then there's no point wasting power. So if you want to do that, you can set it to sleep automatically at 11.30 p.m. or I don't know when you sleep, but whatever the time. So let's just call it sleep at night. And you can type in a description if you have multiple tasks and you want to provide all the information, you can do that, but you don't have to. Now here you have a couple of options. You can run only when the user is logged on. So this means if, uh, let's say you're signed out, but your computer's turned on, this task is not going to run. So we're gonna go ahead and select run whether user is logged on or not, because we don't care. And you can run it with highest privileges, but that's not required for this action. Now we go into the triggers menu. A trigger is a particular action or something that, as the name suggests, is going to trigger this task or whatever is going to start this task. So in our case, we want a particular time to act as a trigger for our task. So what you want to do is you want to click on New, and there you go. This brings you all the settings that you need. So uh, we want our system to perform this task on a schedule. We don't want it to do at log on, but you can, for other tasks, this is just uh, a hint, for other tasks you can do all sorts of other things. 
what happens when your computer is idle maybe you can send it to sleep after it's idle for a certain time but then again there's an easier way to do it or you can do uh, run a program at startup this way at log on whatever you want on an event but we want it on a schedule so what we're going to do is select a daily schedule because we want it to happen every day and you need to set the start time this is basically the time when the computer is going to go to sleep so you want to type in whatever's your bedtime or whatever you want your computer's bedtime to be. So let's say it's 11.30 p.m. So this means whenever the clock, the computer clock, hits 11.30 p.m., it is going to automatically go to sleep. That's all you want to do here. So then you're going to hit OK. So as you can see, a new trigger has appeared here. It says daily at 11.30 p.m. every day. And it's enabled but we still haven't specified what happens when that trigger is activated. So now we want to set an action. So here we have several actions. You want to select start a program. And here we have to link our program, which we have previously saved the bat file, remember? It's over here and all you have to do is open it. And now you have sleep.bat over here and you want to go ahead and click OK. So as you can see it's going to start the program sleep.bat when the trigger 11.30 p.m. is activated. Now you have some additional conditions. Now let's say you're using your computer at night. Let's say you haven't gone to sleep. For some reason you're awake and you're using your computer. Maybe there's some important work that needs to be done. Maybe you don't want to sleep. Maybe you're nocturnal. I don't know. I'm not gonna judge but Hey, in that case, what you need to do is you need to start the task only if the computer is idle for a certain amount of time because you don't want your computer to suddenly go to sleep while you're using it. That's annoying. So you can use this option, start the task only if computer is idle for, and you can set whatever time you want. So let's say 30 minutes. You can be reasonably certain that, okay, if you haven't been using the computer for 30 minutes, you've probably you know, gone to bed or you don't need it right now. And the wait for idle is going to be a time that it's going to wait after the trigger is activated until the action takes place. Now we don't want to wait that long, so we're just going to say do not wait. And if you have a laptop, there are additional options here. There are power options. Start the task only if the computer is on AC power. We don't really care, so we're going to disable that. And once you're done with all of the steps that I mentioned, you want to go ahead and hit OK. Now before we can set the task, you will need to provide your password. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now after you're done, you want to go ahead to the task scheduler library and here you're going to find the new task that you created. As you can see, it's right over here, sleep at night at 11.30 p.m. every day. And once again, you can take a look at all the settings over here. Right now it's enabled, so basically our job's done. As soon as the clock hits 11.30, if the computer has been idle, for more than 30 minutes before that, it is going to automatically go to sleep. Now let's say um, one night you don't want it to run. You're downloading something or you've set uh, a video to render or you're doing some tasks that you don't want to be interrupted. What you can do is instead of deleting it, you can go ahead and disable the task. So now it's still here, but it's disabled. So it's not going to work for that particular night or for any other night until you come back here and re-enable it. And now it's going to go back to sleep again every night. And you don't have to bat an eye. So that is how you can send your computer automatically to sleep at a particular time. You can do it for some idle interval. You can do it basically. You can do a lot of things with Task Scheduler. This is just uh, the tip of the iceberg. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Please share it if you did and like the video. Subscribe to Seemly Leo for more awesome content that is coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.